Okay, man. Voy a repetir mis instrucciones. I will repeat my instructions. Quiero una pelea profesional y limpia. I want a nice, professional, clean fight. Obedezca mis instrucciones durante la pelea todo el tiempo. Obey my commands at all times. Que gane el mejor, touch him up. Suerte, Pedro. Hard to imagine either one of these two guys losing, but one of them probably will. And therefore, this moment, right now, before the bell, before we find out who that's going to be, is charged with electricity, and Jim is my favorite moment in professional sports. Been a long time since I've been nervous before a fight. Are you nervous for one or the other, Roy, or just nervous about what both can do? Just nervous about what both can do. Round one. There's a fear among some media members that because both fighters are natural counterpunchers who prefer to counterpunch, that the action may not start right away. Both fighters understand that significant question, and both have promised that they want to be aggressive. And already there's an exchange. And Donaire was rocked back. By a left hand off of the stance of Rigandown. There's another left hand over the top by Rigandown. And yeah. Donaire got hit with that because he's going for that home run left hook. A great defensive fighter, and Rigando is one, can take away one thing from his opponent, and Rigando Roy is determined to take that hook away from Donaire. Yeah, but he got caught with it right before he landed that overhand left. I was about to say, both guys landed a pretty good shot on one another. So we still have a pretty even fight right now. So they've said hello, and now the conversation continues. Donaire with a body shot with the right hand. The speed and precision and skill is absurd at this point. You mentioned what a defender Regendau is, Max. His CompuBox numbers defensively compare favorably to those of Floyd Mayweather. Now, the opposition obviously hasn't been the same, but at least so far in his professional career, he's the hardest guy to hit of any top professional fighter. They're probing each other, and they're being careful, but they're in punching range, Roy. They're not fighting scared. I told you they wouldn't fight, they wouldn't fight scared because both guys have a point to prove here. Oh, good shot by Rigandau. Absolutely. Rigandau landing again with the left hand. And there's another straight left hand on the chin no, of Donaire. No, 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 no. Donaire showing a little frustration there, I think. Well, it's not frustration from not being able to land. It's frustration from getting hit a little. This is something that he is not really accustomed to this early in a fight. So Rigandau has definitely got his respect early, but I think he's also gotten Rigandau's respect. It's been a far more active first round than some at ringside feared would be the case. Hard right hand by Rigandau. That was a good right hook by Rigandau. It sure was. Donaire cannot wait on Rigandau because Rigandau has far more experience when it comes to dealing with the style. It's not just the speed and precision here. Both guys have ended fights with one shot, with either hand. And both of them are trying to end this one with one shot. Donaire showing a little caution now ten seconds, ten seconds. as we come down the stretch of round one. Again, he gets a right hand to the body, but Donaire has seen his initial offensive instincts somewhat blunted by the counter-punching of Rickendahl in round one. A brilliant boxing exhibition from both. Okay, make sure that you're using that jab and step into your left, okay? Don't just stand in front of him. How do you feel his problem right there? Okay, okay, okay. Huh? How do you feel it? No, nothing? Okay, then. I want you to see, try to keep your mouth shut a little more, especially when you guys are close to each other. Don't, don't, don't fight with your mouth open, okay? Step around, step to your left, step to, to your left, double jab and, and, and aim at the chest, okay? If you throw straight to the head, it's... Right. We got him already. You good? Strong hands. Strong shots. Strong shots. Keep that head low in this area. After the combination, lands a beautiful overhand left because he kept that head low and he stayed close to um, the flash. Filipino flash, Nonito Donaire. CompuBox numbers for power punches in round one. Donaire, 5 of 18. Rigandau, 8 of 13. At least two previous Rigandau trainers, Ronnie Shields and Freddie Roach, both have stated that they tried to get him to think and act more offensively in the ring. 
maybe they're getting what they asked for now after the first round. I don't think he has much choice, Jim. When you got a guy like the great Lonito Donaire in your face coming at you with the shots that he's throwing, you got to do something to keep him off of you. But Donaire definitely has to do something about Rigondeaux's right hook. Donaire likes to capitalize on mistakes, and Rigondeaux makes fewer than most. Very few mistakes. And people have to not underestimate the fact that, you know, to win two gold medals says a lot. When you go to the Olympics, you know, in NBA basketball, every three or four years, a Carmelo or a LeBron James or a Kobe comes along. Well, that same thing happens at every Olympic game. And to win two gold medals means you defeated that twice. Two gold medals in the Olympics, two world championships, a Pan American Games gold medal, 400 amateur fights, of which he is said to have won 388. It's an astonishing record. And the first round so far from Nonito Donaire, I think, Jim. Donaire trying to go to the body here early in round two. Now we're midway through the round. Rigandau a little bit less offensive in this round than was the case in the first. Well, he's trying to make Donaire make mistakes now. Make Donaire come in. He just landed a great body shot on Donaire's body. A left hand. Donaire wasn't even close to the counter right. Hard left hand over the top by Rigandau. So far, Rigandau is outboxing Donaire. And yep. finding the target. Yeah, because Donaire is probably looking for the knockout. He came in suggesting, just like anybody else would, that Rigandau may have a weak chin. But like you said, Max, he also have, happens to have the best defense in the game. A lot of times those two things go hand in hand. <laughs> Right hand of the body has been the basic staple for Donaire here in the second round. Rigandau has landed that left hand over the top a couple of times. Donaire is moving Rigandau uh, clockwise, which is where you want to move a southpaw, but Rigandau still having success going in that direction. 400 fights, Max. He can have success going in the direction that he wants to go. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Of course, that will negate Donaire's left hook, which is Rigandau's plan moving in that direction. April 27, live from Argentina, it's middleweight champ Sergio Martinez against Martin Murray. And from California, a heavyweight clash between Chris Ariola and Berman Stiverne. There's Gennady Golovkin, seated at ringside, news conference in New York today to announce his June 29 showdown against the very brave Matthew Macklin in the middleweight division. There's the Irish Macklin. He was at the Boxing Writers' Dinner the other night. We had a tremendous turnout of boxing talent at that event. You saw Macklin's brave effort against Sergio Martinez last March in Manhattan. This was the... This was the news conference that took place this afternoon in Manhattan, and there's the official stare down at news conference number one between Golovkin on the left and Macklin on the right. CompuBox numbers in round two. Donaire six out of 31, only 19%. Regan Dow nine out of 33. Not a particularly active round, though it was still intense. If Rigandau is successful in taking that left hook away from Donaire. Right hand on the hook, this time again by Rigandau. And countering and pot shotting, as Roy said in his preview, as he's been in the first two rounds. He can't afford to stay there and throw more than one because if he gets caught in the middle of those punches, he may go down. Well, if he's successful doing that, defensive fighters, the mark of a great one is it's hard to hit him with two in a row. You can clip him with one, but not two in a row. Donaire's got to land something hard with that right hand. At well, he landed point. another body shot a moment ago, and he appears to be focusing on digging the right hand to the body early. Probably trying to take something out of Rigandau for the later rounds. What he has to do, though, Jim, is he can't get uh, over-anxious here and try to go for the gamble and get the big shot. He has to continue to take his time, but he got to make Rigandau use his hands for defense to keep him at home more. It appears both fighters are now quite aware of the danger they're dealing with with super quick counterpunchers in front of them. Donaire is learning that this ain't 
Darchinian or Montiel or Nishioka, and they're all good fighters, all quality fighters, but Rigandau is a different animal. Yeah, you hope Donaire doesn't get impatient here and run into a big shot. Rigandau challenging Donaire to find his open head and slipping the punch. Well, Donaire got lucky then because he slipped a shot. Great with... left uppercut inside by Rigandau. Yeah, he was open for an uppercut. Thank God Rigandau didn't throw it. Another thing we could be seeing here, Donaire could have been deceived when he watched video of Rigandau because who can bring this out in a fighter? <laughs> Another great fighter brings this out in a great fighter. Two left hands from Rigandau. He's found it easier to find Donaire than Donaire has been able to find him. And presented with a great fighter, a guy with similar talent, Rigandau has elevated his game here. Again, the right hand of the body by Donaire. And again, Rigandau lands with the right hook inside. Rigandau is very comfortable right now, so Donaire needs to do something to throw him off a little. He's, he, it's got, you know, he's taking Donaire to school a bit here in these three rounds, these first three rounds so far. Roy Rigandau does something you used to do quite frequently. He sets up as if to throw a jab and leads oh. with a hook instead. Hard right hand by Donaire on the face of Rigandau. Best punch of the fight so far for Donaire. Another big left hand for Rigandau. Wanted to answer back. Rigandau answered right back like champions do. <laughs> landed two and landed them both harder, I thought. Carmelo Anthony at ringside. What a red hot streak he's been on. The Knicks losing or the Knicks winning streak finally ended at 13 last night, but Anthony has been sensational. That's it. They say, no, he's not going to catch you by surprise. Keep your hands up so he doesn't surprise you. Keep your hands up so he doesn't surprise you. And stay low. That's it. That's it. And change up the hands. Change the hands. You understand? Change, marry your rhythm. You understand? What you hear? How you feeling? Good? Well, let's go. Chop him, chop him. Now change it up now. Right to the top, right to the bottom. Nonito Donaire was a two-to-one favorite or better in some places coming into the fight. Nonito Donaire has fallen behind a little bit in CompuBox numbers to the so far more accurate Rigandau. Harold, how do you have it through three? Okay, Jim. You know, I tell you something. I'm really surprised at this fight. I got a three to nothing, 30 to 27 Guillermo Rigandau. You know, Jim, he's getting off, off and Donaire isn't. And that's basically the fight. Look at this. The guy throws four or five punches and Donaire doesn't throw one. I, I mean, Nonito Donaire is not in his rhythm yet. He's got to stop moving his hands. He's got to start punching. The, uh, Rigandau's circling the wrong way, just like Max said. Southpaw's going to the right, he's going to the left. But he's getting off. He's landing punches, winning the rounds. Three to nothing, Rigandau. Within the past 24 hours, various signs emerged suggesting that perhaps Donaire's preparation for the fight was not optimum. So far, it appears in the ring that may be the case. Or perhaps it's just that Rigandau is all that and everything his amateur record suggested oh. is true. And that's what I think the case may be, Jim. I think he's all that, and everything that his amateur record has indicated is definitely true. Uh, well, Donaire has uh, shown fight-ending power, as we mentioned. Uh, there he landed a couple good right hands. He's, he's knocked out some world-class fighters with that right hand, and Rigandau does not have the best rep in terms of his chin, but he took him pretty well. Well, he makes it a little bit easier on himself because he's throwing such a hard counterpunch back. So when a guy's punching that hard back, you can't quite commit to it as much as Donaire has been able to commit to it in previous fights. But I think what's most stunning for a lot of ringsiders to see is that Rigandau's reflexes are so good and his hands are so fast that quite often Donaire will move as if to throw a punch and Rigandau pot shots him first. Yep. Rigandau has his skills are a little sharper so far, and that's one of the reasons, Jim, he was only a two to one underdog in spite of only having 11 pro fights and facing a guy who's laid waste to multiple weight classes. Put those legs in front of me. 
Looping left hand by Rigandau. Not as hard as most of the punches he's landed so far. Donaire looking apparently to try to throw that right to the body again. Rigandau quite aware of it now. He gets in a left hand to the body. Hard shot. Yeah, he throws some really hard shots, Jim, with bad intent on it. Bad intent. Oh, oh, low blow by Rigandau. Benji Estevis right there to step in and see it. Checks if Donaire is okay. Makes a verbal warning to Rigandau. Oh, Big good left hook. hand by Donaire. Oh, good shot by... Oh, my goodness. They're trading punches now. A fight just broke out. These are, these are nuclear bombs they're trading. <laughs> that left hook was exactly the explosion oh. that they were looking for. What a left hand shot by Rigandau. These are not great action fighters, but they're both great punchers. Next on HBO, a replay of the Real Sports episode featuring the one and only Iron Mike Tyson. See what he's up to today. Okay. Tap one, see how this is, then go right back on him one more time. Okay. The second attack, the renewed attack. When you land as a punch, don't get careless, okay? Don't go wild, okay? Be very alert. Yes. Yes. Rachel Donaire expecting the first Donaire child in a matter of about two months. Maybe a little more than that. Seated at ringside here as she always is. Very much a part of Nonito's career. Donet counted his life. Donet counted a hook right here off of Rigandau, but Rigandau came right back afterwards with his own shot. Very impressive. That was the biggest and best punch of the fight so far for Donaire. Rigandau has had a small festival of them. Harold Letterman still hasn't found a round to give to Nonito Donaire. Reigning champion in the 122-pound weight class, favorite in the fight, falling behind early, at least by our lights, against Guillermo Rigondeau. It's an old saying in boxing, class tells over time. And uh, Donaire thought going into this fight, Rigondeau used to the shorter distances, Donaire's class would tell over time, and that remains to be seen. But so far, it's Rigondeau's where he had smaller margins in the first round and maybe second round, he seemed to widen them every round, maybe until that fourth. Beautiful footwork by Rigandau sets up the straight left hand. Two things I gotta say Rigandau also is doing here. For one, that left body shot that he threw earlier was a very devastating punch. Although it was low, it makes you realize how much of a puncher you're dealing with. Second, when they get in the trenches, if you notice, he grabs a really tight grip on Donaire to make sure he lets Donaire fear his power. So that's another thing that keeps Donaire at bay a little bit. Let's go. And there's Benji Estevez telling Regan down not to hold Donaire's head. So far, I'm also getting the feeling that Donaire's looking at Rigandau, saying, I haven't seen this quite before. And Rigandau's not looking at Donaire the same way. Oh, no. Uh, Rigandau has seen this before. Like I said before, if you win two gold medals, you've seen Kobe, LeBron, Dwayne Wade. You've seen everybody. Two gold medals? Come on. Donaire cut short his amateur career and then lost his second professional fight. That was more than 12 years ago. But generally speaking, Donaire's entire education has taken place in the professional prize fight ring. And, and he hasn't really come close to losing as a world-class fighter. The closest was the Matabula fight, and he knocked Matabula down and broke his jaw. Well, and he, he's beaten highly respected opponents in wipeouts. Big Tarchinian with a big left hook knockout. Fernando Montiel with a sensational Big uh, second round left hook knockout. All the names you call it, Jim, none of them can almost add up to what is in front of him right now. That's what Guillermo, <laughs> I mean, that's what Donaire is learning as of this moment. Well, he's got to change something, Roy, and, and the question becomes pretty soon, what does he have to change? Well, he's just looking to land that big shot right now, and hopefully he's looking at the later rounds. Six 
coming. We're going to work. We're going to turn them. And keep your hands up. Okay, keep your hands up. Uh, next on HBO, you. replay of Real Sports featuring Mike Tyson. And look for the next edition Tuesday. You'll meet a generous pro boxer, Boyd Melson, who's in attendance tonight and donates all of his earnings to spinal cord research. April 27 from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Hometown hero Sergio Martinez coming home for the first time in 12 years. Defends his middleweight crown against undefeated Englishman Martin Murray. Also that night, a heavyweight battle in California between Chris Ariola and Berman Stiburn. CompuBox numbers in the fifth round. Donaire was able to throw only 20 punches and landed only three. Regan Dow threw 30 and landed 10. So we have deteriorated to that point where two counter punchers aren't throwing all that much and spend a lot of time waiting for the next big moment. But those moments are exciting enough and tense enough that there's still drama. Well, Regan Dow has disciplined Donaire, especially as with that left to the body that Roy pointed out, that quasi low blow. Um, and and Donaire's keeping his hands at home more because it hurts when he when they leave home. Whether it's a clean shot or not. <laughs> And, and this kind of sick thing here is I can't think of another 122 pounder who would fare very well with this version of Donaire tonight. Well, you made the point. These are the two best fighters in the division. And now the crowd begins to ask for more from the counter-punching duo. This fight is going to break down along purist and non-purist lines. It's, it's, if you're a boxing purist, this is beautiful to watch, but it's not for everyone. Yeah, and Donaire just took a shot at him right there. Those things he has to be very careful of because Rigondeaux is a slick guy. You can't go at him with big shots because it opens you up to be caught with the same thing. And he's so fast and he just explodes so quick until you can't leave yourself open that long. What about trying to get his jab going, Roy? Talking about Donaire as he takes a left hand right on the button from Guillermo Rigondeaux. Is there simply no point against Rigondeaux's defensive skills in trying to work his jab? Not really, because throwing his jab, you see Rigondeaux using his jab instead. So if he put his hand on top of Rigondeaux's hand and uses his jab, yes. But what he's been doing is that Rigondeaux's been leading with the hook, and that's discouraging his jab, like that right there. That's discouraging Nonito's jab. Nonito should be doing the same thing to Rigondeaux. I mean, the fainting even that's going on here, the subtle skill being displayed by both fighters, the reason their hands aren't moving more is because of what the other guy can do, fainting offense, defense, and countering with power. Rigandau in this round in particular has begun to use his hand feints even more, trying to hypnotize Donaire a little bit and then explode with one of those big shots. Well, you know, it's like with the Cuban fighters, they use their legs very smart and very efficiently. This is what he's doing to Donaire right now. When Donaire tries to attack, he's attacking with feints. So Rigondeaux uses his feet to get him way out of harm's way. But when um, Rigondeaux attacks, he attacks with that either the hook first or his, or his jab first, like he did right there. A little left to the body by Donaire. Some people in the crowd beginning to boo. I asked Nonito Donaire about this two weeks ago, and he said, oh, yes, I know. I sold the tickets. I'm the reason the fight is on HBO. I have to make the fire. March 16, Ruslan Pravodnikov fought that brilliant duel in Carson, California against Timothy Bradley. And both are here tonight. Tim Bradley working with the Colonel, Bob Sheridan, on the international feed of this broadcast. And Pravodnikov enjoying the social action of ringside. When you're, when you're, when you're uh, cutting the ring, you're throwing one punch at a time. When you see a, little, a few more punches, and start out with the body, okay? Body and then go upstairs. Let's go to the body first. Okay, at the chest. Aim at the chest. All right? All right so we got to start picking it up. Let's go. We're throwing, we're throwing one punch at a time and very few. You see Riggins out down here, load his head, but he keeps his stuff right up in that area. So when he comes back, bam, they lands a straight left hand right down the pipe. By far the best punch of the round. We have made it to the halfway point of the fight. And now Harold Letterman prepares to tell us where he has it as we get to the seventh of his schedule. Twelve. Harold, how do you have it so far? I don't know, Jim. I ain't watching a fight. 
Uh, I mean, Guillermo Rigger now is doing all the punching. Now, Nino Doré has got his mouth open and he won't move his hands. I mean, can you imagine three punches landed in a round by a great champion like Don Nino Doré? It's just unbelievable. The guy's got to start going to work. Six to nothing. 60 to 54, Guillermo Rigadao. He's landed all his shots, Donet has got to get off. He's got to do something. He's got to move his hands. Guillermo Rigadao just landed most of the shots. Six to nothing. And now it appears that Donaire understands that he needs to become more aggressive. Let's go to his corner where Max Kellerman is with trainer Robert Garcia. Robert, what do you see so far? Well, it's a difficult fight, you know, uh, Rigondeaux coming up with a good game plan, he's boxing and uh, fighting uh, on the outside, and that's where Nornito's uh, made a few mistakes, but we're trying to tell him to cut the ring a little bit more, you know, stay, uh, stay a little more busy, we've got to start pressuring a little more, we're halfway through now, so we've got we to pressure a little more. So you don't feel that Nonito has to change something dramatically here? Well, I, that's, what, that's what I'm saying, you know, we've got to really pressure more, and, uh, and, and uh, when he does, that seems to be working a little, but, uh, but it's still, still a pretty difficult fight. How has Rigondeaux been able to put your guy into such a chess match? Well, it's, it's, that's just the way Rigondeaux fights. You know, he's a very, very smart fighter, very, very smart inside the ring, and uh, and we we, st we can't fall in his game plan. We you know we can't make mistakes. When do you start to panic a little bit in terms of the scorecards? No, well, you know that's you know we got to respect what the judges say, but you know it's I think it's so far it's, it's a good fight, it's a close fight. We're not uh, I don't think I don't think we're behind. We might be three and three right now. That as, as what I what I'm seeing right now, I don't know. Thanks, Robert. Got it. He's dreaming. There's no way it's three and three. <laughs> Roy Jones, I don't think for a second that Nonito Donaire ever fully understood what he was up against here tonight. I think he kind of understood it. However, he may have understood it a little late. And to Rigondeaux, it happened for him at a good time because there were so many other things that Donaire could focus on instead of him. Yeah, Donaire hasn't won a round yet. At and least not by and, our and, and a couple times I thought he was about to with a kind of stunning punch, but Rigondeau came right back in every case with a more effective punch or two. Yeah, and Donaire starting to swell up a little bit. Swelling around both eyes, Nonito Donaire. I'd feel a lot better about his chances of coming back in the fight if Robert Garcia hadn't said, oh, I think it's three rounds <laughs> to three. Right, if he said, well, pretty soon we're going to have to rough this guy up, really work his body, do something different. But just doing what you're doing, only doing it harder, may not be the formula here. Look, Donaire does have fight-ending power, and there's plenty of time to go. Many in the crowd are wondering what it is they're seeing. They bought into the notion that they would watch the great Nonito Donaire score another dramatic conquest. That's not what's happening. Great. Everything happens in that ring that you want to happen right now. Okay? You're letting him dictate the pace of this fight, okay? He's doing what he wants to, okay? Not, you're following him around. You need to cut the ring off, right? You need to be looking at your jab. You need to be throwing more than one punch, okay? 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 It happens because you decide to have it happens, okay. right? Not you let him does. fight his fight, okay? okay? No need to. Let's, we gotta do something. We gotta give him more, more rhythm side to side and counter and side to side. Let's, let's, let's find something. We gotta find that, okay? We can't just throw. He wants you to stand still. Don't stand still. Don't stand still in front of him. Let's go. Don't stand still and keep your hands up. Keep your hands up so he comes in and swing. Well, you saw the CompuBox number graphic, which showed you that through seven rounds, Regendau has landed more punches in every single round so far. Last round, Donaire was 6 of 27. Regendau was 9 of 30. They're not exactly burning down the house offensively, but as I say, there's intensity every time they exchange. Yeah, this is a World Series game, a, a one nothing game so far, a 2 nothing game. And for those who say, how could you so definitively give all these rounds to Rigondeaux when the difference in punches landed is sometimes three or four punches? In this case, they're landing such definite, clear, clean shots when they do land. I don't find this very difficult to score. And it's not even about that, Max. It's about command. It's about ring generalship. It's about who's the boss in there doing what he wants to do. It's about who would you rather be. 100%. And that's abundantly clear from round to round. This is Regan Dow's fight. And Regan Dow's jab and his jab hand is winning the fight for him mainly right now. He keeps that jab hand a little bit above Donnell's jab hand. And when it's not above it, he flicks it out a little bit, not trying to hit with it, just to keep it in the guy's face. And the boos are getting louder. And once again, that conversation I had with Donaire two weeks ago, I understand. I have to make the action. 
That's what Robert Garcia was finally saying to him between rounds. Let's find something. We have to build up the heat. Can't let Rigondeaux keep just having target practice. Lanier lands a jab. Can't find Rigondeaux for the follow-up. isn't going to do anything to change the pace of the fight. It is up to Nonito Donaire to try to rescue his chances. Now let's listen in to Robert Garcia. Keep going. Come on. You got to stay close to him. And throw more than one punch. Come on. Let's go. Right up, guys. Keep going. You're throwing one punch at a time. I want to see more. Put them together, put the punches together. Right there, keep going, he's backing up. Get on him. Come on, let's go, come on, stay on him. Jab, jab, come on. He bends down to his right, right there. That's where the right uppercut goes. Come on, stay on him, come on, let's go, you gotta find it. Hooking on the right, hooking on the right. Anito Donaire acknowledged to us yesterday afternoon that most of his preparation with Robert Garcia for this fight took place over the telephone. Garcia was the 2012 Trainer of the Year, just as Donaire was the 2012 Fighter of the Year. On this occasion, they may have misfired. Two more solid shots from Guillermo Rigondeau. You had a quieter round this round, actually. Rigondeau, it's a closer round, I felt. April 27, live from Argentina, it's middleweight champ Sergio Martinez against Martin Murray. And from California, a heavyweight clash between Chris Ariola and Berman Severn. And you saw him on HBO prior to this telecast. Louis C.K., he's everywhere tonight, as there he is at ringside with us. Hi. We will. Lively, lively. You got to put your right in. Let's go. You doing good? No more wrestling. Don't put any more wrestling on All right, let's go. Let's go. He's turning it to your right hand. And bam! Change it up. Donaire with only one knockout past the eighth round, so his chances seem to be dimming. Donaire was five out of 33 in the eighth round. The 33 means that he jacked up the action just a little bit. Couldn't really get that much done. Regan Dow was 10 of 31. Another round in which Rigondeaux landed more punches than Donaire and you see Harold Letterman's scorecard. It's a whitewash so far. Shutting out Nonito Donaire, who, by the way, may be a victim of, of his success in a sense, where he was fighting world-class fighters, but beating them with such ease. They weren't really competing with him. And you can get into some bad habits, for example, looking for one punch not having to hone and refine your skills in the same way that you would were you not quite as good. Well, I can't really say that because when he fought Nishida, that was a good tune-up fight for this fight. That was a guy he had to chase. He was a southpaw to get himself used to or comfortable being in front of a southpaw. So I don't think necessarily that he didn't take the right fights or had too easy of and fights. Nishioka wasn't really competitive. No, he wasn't, but he was a southpaw that you had to figure out how to hit. He was a test. That's why I think he even took the fight. Donaire got in the right hand, and Rigondeaux answered with a left. Donaire just missed with a left hook. It was a glancing blow. Rigondeaux definitely didn't miss with that counter straight left. Donaire misses with a right. I do feel over the last maybe two rounds that Rigondeau, Rigondeau is fighting a, uh, Rigondeau, excuse me, is fighting, as I say that, he throws a punch. An uppercut. Maybe a little too defensively to the point where he's maybe making rounds closer than they need to be. And maybe that's partly because of Donaire's uh, consistent, if not effective, pressure. Well, he may be shaving it pretty fine, but he's landing when he wants to. And he still seems to be totally in command of the ring generalship element of this. Yeah. Fighting the fight that he wants to fight. Yeah, he's totally in command of the fight right now. And for him, 
He just wants to ease on down the road, make Donaire take all the chances, stay outside, like I said earlier before the fight. If he can stay on the outside, he's safer. He doesn't have to worry about that left hook. And this is how he planned on winning the fight. New York City is a place where, on occasion, we have been confounded by official judges' scores, which are entirely different than what we've seen. Max, Roy, do you see any chance that we're getting this all wrong, and official judges are going to have it much closer than we think? Julie Letterman's a judge tonight, so she'll have it right. She always does. Um, my indication is that usually, and I must say usually, Harold Letterman is right on the button. I got out of the belt. I agree with that. I think both Letterman's are very good judges. But you hear the boos from the crowd. It's Rigandau who's drawing those boos even as, out, as he's outboxing Donaire. And I asked Rigandau yesterday if he cared about that, and he said absolutely not. April 27, a fascinating doubleheader from Argentina. Native son Sergio Martinez returns home to defend his title against undefeated Bushman Martin Murray. Also that night, a heavyweight clash in California between heavy hitters Chris Ariola and Berman Stavern. May 25, around the world we go. First, live at 6.30 p.m. It's Carl Frotch against Mikel Kessler coming to you from London, England. You'll see it again on our 10 p.m. broadcast, followed by a live fight from Montreal, Lucien Boutte against Jean Pascal for Canadian bragging rights. Don't give him a distance. Don't give him a distance. Use your head. Be careful with his head because he's going to catch you. Keep your hands up all the time. Hands up. Hands up. Let's go. Jabs through the nine rounds, according to Comparable. And that's not a, a, a knockdown that's being ruled a slip. Donaire came out in this round with an absolutely different attitude. He ran towards Rigandau, took a shot to give a shot. His shot was harder, and then he threw Rigandau down. Harold, what's your score? That's how you said you should have been doing that 10 <laughs> rounds ago. I'm getting 80 to... Uh, uh, 80, I'm sorry, 90 to 81, nine rounds to nothing, Guillermo Rigadon. Jim, this guy is terribly prepared, just terribly. I don't know if he hit a speed bag or what, but you know, he can't hit Rigadon. He's not trying. Oh, hey, that is a brilliant left hook by Donaire. He finally got himself in the position to land Cinco. something and land Cinco. it very big. Cinco. Now let's see if he can follow up. Ocho. He better be careful, Joe, because this is just going to make Rigandau fight back harder. Well, maybe we'll get to see something more exciting. That he, was good. He's going to have to take chances like that to try to win this fight, Royce. It's because he took that chance that he scored that knockdown. That's exactly right. I didn't say he didn't have to take chances. <laughs> I said he has to be it's careful just dangerous. taking the chances. Yeah. There he is. Good shot again. Now he's making a fight out of it. And there he took a left hand. And that's what you were talking about. Exactly. Another left hook. Second one misses. Rigandau holds out his hands as if to say, I'm fine. You're not bothering me at all. Donaire is looking to tee up one more left hook. Right hand by Donaire and a left hand by Rigandau. Donaire knows he has to risk getting knocked out to win this fight. And 100%. He, he's going to he, have to take shots to get him in. And he's willing to risk it. He's showing us that he's willing to risk it. Because he has that kind of power. If he detonates on you, you got to go. And, Jim, I saw the caption of the upcoming fights. I must say my man Pascal did pick Rigandau, but we'll see if that's yet to come. Good hook. Right Bobby. hand by Rigandau. Excellent hook. <laughs> There's that lead hook again that we talked about, Roy. That's what I think has been the biggest factor in the fight for Rigandau. Donaire's never had a knockout past the ninth round by our lights. He needs it tonight. Oh. Great left hand shot by Rigandau. donaire has got a great chin. He's walking through that stuff. That really is a great chin. And I must tell you that I guarantee you he may be eight or nine pounds heavier than Rigandau. That's not hurting him either. We did not get unofficial weights here tonight. In the state of New York, we are not allowed to weigh the fighters unofficially before the fight. Be because of Rigandau's counterpunching power yes, no, no, and his seconds. rhythm, he's turned this round gradually back into the speed he wants it to Rigandau's advantage. But for the first time in the fight, Donaire has won a round, and he won it 
So a small comeback for Nonito Donaire, who still, by our lights, doesn't have a chance to win it on the scorecards. Listen to me, damn it. Let's go. We're going up to the eleventh, brother. We're going into the eleventh. Hands up. He see Guillermo Rigondeaux stay kind of high right here, so they came together. And after he stayed high, he got caught with a beautiful overhand hook, like a left hand instead of a right hand. Once again, you see he stayed high after they came together right here. Donnell pushed him off with one hand, turned southpaw and throw, throw the beautiful overhand left and caught him right down the middle. Here's Andre Ward at ringside, warming up for whatever his next bout might take place. Power shots in the 10th round. Donaire, 15 out of 29. By far his high numbers for the fight. If you were waiting for the great power punching Nonito Donaire to show up, he finally did it, at least for a brief stretch of time in the 10th round. He needs more. He needs to overwhelm Rigando with activity. Well, that's very difficult, Jim, because when you come at him, He's still forcing you to take the gamble, but he's throwing some remarkable power shots while Rick while Donaire is gambling. Nope, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you're exactly right. But Donaire has already proven he has a terrific chin. He's gonna have to bank on that chin and gamble in these last two rounds to have any chance to win the fight. Yeah, we saw Chavez Jr. do this against Sergio Martinez in a fight he was hopelessly behind and practically stopped Martinez in the 12th round, but not quite. But Martinez, I got the feeling, was expending more energy to keep Chavez Jr. off than Rigondeaux is here to keep Donaire off. Way yeah. more. It was a way more active fight. Yeah, Martinez was throwing 80, 90 punches per round. There's another good combination by Donaire who got in a right and a left hook. Yeah, but he took a left hand coming in. And it was Rigondeaux who established position, moving Donaire, switching him to the ropes. And the other thing I see is the great gloves look a lot smaller than, the, than does the Everlast gloves. So what does that mean, Roy? Well, that he's got on more of a puncher's glove than does Donaire. The Everlast glove looks a little bigger, looks like more of a pillow, whereas the Grant glove looks more like a knuckle. <laughs> just, to, uh, just to clarify, Donaire is wearing Everlast, and Regan Dow is wearing Grant. And to me, it's just like a bullet. The smaller it is, the quicker it travels. Good left hand by Regan Dow. Donaire can't find him to retaliate. Well, that's why you can't follow a southpaw around. He'll lead you to the left hand every time. It's also one thing to run out to start the round and see if you can get something off quick. It's another thing to sustain that pressure over the full three minutes. And rigondeaux has been able to tame Donaire in the last two rounds by about the middle of the round. Yeah, when you got a guy throwing bombs at you, Max, you ain't got no other choice but to respect that. You can't just run over that. Rigondeaux is a real puncher, just as Donaire is. That left hand right there is what's keeping Donaire kind of at base on. Donito Donaire's face shows you the damage he's incurred following Guillermo Rigondeaux around the ring for 11 rounds and getting popped with counter punches over and over. Well, he got two points for the knockdown in the last round. If he, he made a couple of others close enough, who knows? Nonito Donaire's wife, Rachel, very much involved in his career, lives and dies with him here at last ringside. Last three minutes, Nonito. Last three minutes. Wonder what her expectations are now as we get ready to go to the 12th. Andre Ward tweeting. We hit him hard, okay? Right yeah. here, you gotta give it all, Nonito. Yeah. Last round, we got three minutes. We okay. gotta give it all. You gotta step in with, with aggressive pressure, okay? Yeah. You gotta step in, be an aggressive pressure. Don't go too light. Yeah. You gotta be more aggressive. Let's go, you gotta get that. Don't go in forward, straight forward. Swing, swing that right. Listen, don't give a distance. Listen, damn it, it's three minutes we got. Oh, damn it. I am told by producers in our truck 
that several writers at ringside are tweeting that they don't know what we're watching. They see the fight as much closer than do we. I still believe that we're seeing it well and that this has been a one-sided affair in Rigandau's favor. And I Let's think, see what Donaire can do. And I think Rigandau just hurt Donaire because you see Donaire on his bicycle right now. Yeah, Rigandau has hurt Donaire. Then he hit him in the eye. Now he snatches him down to the ground. But he definitely hurt Donaire. And Donaire is pawing at his right eye with his right glove. Gloves. Let's go. And his nose is bleeding. Donaire firing a left hook over the top. Look at how Nonito is holding the right glove pinned to his right eye. Oh, yeah. Means he can't see out of that right eye too well if he's seeing double. And he gets hit with another left hand over the top by Rigandau. And a left hand to the body. His eye is badly black and blued and looks like it's swelling up. Yeah, it is. And he can't see out of a one eye more than like or if he's seeing double, so he's closing one eye so he only sees one. Seeing double most likely. Yep. Quick right hook by Rigandau. And Rigandau is really throwing some balls. Rigandau thinks he may have a chance for a knockout. He's got to be careful, too, because he's a little more square to Donaire's left hook. Rigandau's trying to close the show. Another strike. Donaire showing some heart. The right eye is beginning to puff up badly, the result of the left-hand shot that Donaire took at the beginning of this round. Yep, Marigandau just showing to be the far superior fighter tonight. Donaire has not lost since his second professional prize fight against Rosendo Sanchez 12 years ago. Rigandau hasn't lost a fight in more than 10 years. One of them is going to be disappointed tonight. Big left hook swing for Donaire, and he motions to Rickendow, says, come at me, come on, let's fight, and it's over. And they're celebrating in Rickendow's corner while they tend to Donaire's right eye in Nonito's corner. Yep. Ooh. 